Good afternoon, YouTube and uh, targeted and non-targeted um, viewers out there. I trust you're doing as well as you possibly can be. Uh, Shane Gibbs, targeted survivor from the UK, back again for another um, another update video. Um, it's going to be quite a mixed bag today, but um, I'm sure that you'll find some of the stuff that I'm going to be putting out in this video of some interest, or I'm, I'm hoping that you do. Um, I'm sure that anybody that is watching and following my channel uh, are what we would class as um, the awakened ones, um, the kind of person that has become aware of the uh, disgusting, dark, filthy underbelly of society that seems to be um, enjoying such freedom at the moment. And uh, you'll see from the title of, uh, of this video that um, I'm going to be bringing up uh, the Brian Harvey situation. But just um, just before I go into the actual uh, the actual content and the topics that I want to bring up in today's uh, in today's update, I just want to um, <laughs> anybody that's been following the whole Brian Harvey expose um, that he is courageously been trying to um, submit to the uh, establishment and also um, make the British public aware of what he's trying to expose um, and what he has actually encountered in um, to try and prevent him from exposing all of the disgusting shite um, that he has got masses of information on. Uh, masses of evidence on um, and I'm sure that if he gets the opportunity to get into a Crown Court then there's going to be a few heads rolling. So um, regarding regarding that, I, you know, I've just been, as you all know, you know, I went and supported Brian down at, uh, at outside the courthouse the other week and which then turned into a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of, well there was definitely some infiltration going on there which is um, pretty standard when you come down to dealing with people that Brian is looking to expose and um, people that are telling the truth um, are trying to expose you will definitely be infiltrated um, in some which way or fashion um, with Brian and um, he had a couple of what well, I'm assuming is agent, agent provocateur type people that turned up and made a right of ruckus that could have caused him some major problems with the um, with the judge at his court hearing the other week um, What I've been seeing, what I've been watching, what I've been viewing from, I can assume, well I assumed from the first, um, from the first barrage of uh, <coughs> mindless bullshit from coming from several, uh, several avenues uh, on YouTube specifically. Um, directed at Brian um, and what he's trying to do and what he's trying to say you know we've got some slanderous people out there that are trying to belittle and trying to uh, I don't know what they're trying to do to be honest with you um, but it seems that um, as the uh, as time's gone on some of these trolls or whatever you want to call them um, people that don't seem to be brave enough to actually put their face on a camera which is quite bizarre uh, yet they can chat shit behind um, behind the camera um, which is what they've been doing and finally what I've actually noticed over the past um, several days is how now no, not only are these trolls attacking Brian um, they well, initially there was not uh, not only attacking Brian they was attacking the people that was actually helping Brian expose the uh, the story that he's um, that he's been holding to his chest for, for many many years um, I don't think a lot of you people out there actually realize what Brian is trying to expose but let me just cr uh, carry on and clarify what I'm talking about when it comes down to these trolls um, we have got there is definitely um, a few nut jobs out there that seem to have taken it on themselves to um, not only ridicule Brian but now they seem to be attacking each other and um, we've got a self-proclaimed God of the community um, his words, not mine. Um, who's probably one of the most racist people that I've ever seen, and somebody that is obviously not aware of what is going on in this country that he and his family live in. So um, they now they're attacking each other. They're um, they're making videos about each other. Um, 
which is <laughs> you people need to go and check yourself mate because honestly some of you people out there that are that are doing these um doing these uh, video attacks to each other um in one one breath you're all like bigging each other up and blah, blah, you know and all that stuff and the next breath when you realize that um you, you all don't want to play nice then you'll start attacking each other um you know the the threats and the um the threats and the slanderous comments that are coming out from some of these um retarded and i'm in my full um right to actually call them that because they're acting like a bunch of idiotic pathetic little children um that need to actually realize exactly what brian is trying to expose so um yeah big up all you uh all you haters out there um your joke whether you're paid whether you're not well which i'm assuming um some of you most certainly are not well um one particularly sticks in mind but i'm not going to be naming names um i'm not i'm well you know, I've got enough information to put out. I'm trying to expose something that um, that's bigger than all of uh, all of you people. And in reality, none of you really matter. Uh, so what you're doing is you're actually making yourself look an absolute joke to the people that are watching, um, which is very few and far between. I must add, um, your pathetic rant on YouTube, um, where you're trying to, to not only belittle. Uh, Brian and um, the people that he's interviewed, you know, Red Pill Phil and Eddie's okay and blah 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 blah. Um, but you also now t now have uh, taken the stance that you want to start attacking each other, and it's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, it's quite comical actually, you know, sitting there because you're quite entertaining. I won't lie to you. Um, <laughs> and I'm sure over time, I'm hoping that um, you will snap out of this delusional state that you seem to be in and um, start actually doing some research and um, realizing what filth goes on in this country so on that note let me just give you a few little snippets of um, of information and, uh, and articles and um, comments and bits and pieces that, uh, that I've come across over the past few days that um, hopefully um, and I say hopefully, because I don't hold much hope in you actually taking any of this information in or actually believing anything that I say because you seem to be so far up your own asses you can't see the wood through the trees. So let's, um, let's start off by giving you a few little snippets of, um, of what exactly is going on in this country, shall we? Let's take the front page of, uh, of the Sun newspaper from yesterday, shall we? And um, on the front page of the uh, Sun newspaper yesterday, we have got something that is um, that is dear to my heart, and what I'm trying to uh, uh, help combat in this uh, in this country. Um, apparently, there are, and up to now, um, I'm assuming that this um, this is a conservative figure. One million victims each year are reporting being stalked. Hmm. Now, I wonder how many of them one million reports. Are actually people that were actually not only um, reporting stalking but that was actually reporting the same as what Brian is the same as what I am the same as what many many people here in the UK are reporting um, which is actually a covert domestic terrorism campaign that seems to be being allowed to function and allowed to destroy and um, turn people's lives upside down to the point where possibly the person gets so psychologically damaged by um, by this covert domestic terrorism campaign um, that they feel that their only option is to take their own life. Uh, and the reason for that, let me just give you, let me just read this a little bit on the front page. Corey Stark in March last night called on the Sun Readers to back our campaign to stop sick stalkers. Do you get that, stalkers? You're sick. I tell you all the time. And that's on the front page of the Sun newspaper. And the Sun, yeah, it's debatable, but every now and then they do chuck out a little snippet um, that is, um, in my opinion, pretty helpful. But ultimately, this is going to end up as a fish and chip paper, um, and nothing will be done about it, as um, nothing's ever done about this this side of things. 
Curry star Kim Marsh last night called for the Sun Raiders to back our campaign to stop six stalkers. A staggering one million men and women fall victim every year. Dozens of vulnerable women have been murdered before cops could intervene. The Sun is calling for a change in the law to help police move more swiftly. Kim says this evil, these evil people must be stopped before they kill more people. So let's um, let's move on and let's carry on with the with the stalking one, and I'll get back to the other the other article that's on the front page of that in a minute. Now this is all just a, a little bit of information for you unawakened idiots out there, um, that seem to want to take it on yourself to um, ridicule people like Brian, and now in ridicule yourselves, which is, um, is it? I will stand to understand the concept. Why that one out? Double page spread of dozens of pictures of people that have been let down by the establishment, people that have been killed by stalkers. The stalking issue in this country seems to be getting um, obviously a million people a year that are reporting this kind of thing going on. Um, I wonder how many of those were actually targeted individuals or target survivors, as I like to call them. Um, but there seem to be um, some movement um, when it comes down to people that are actually now speaking up about the whole stalking stuff. So I urge any of my targeted survivor followers to actually listen to this and maybe jump on the bandwagon. Um, we've got an article here that was given by a Dr. Sarah Wollaston, MP. Stalking is a crime of persistence characterised by fixation and obsession. It can continue for decades and has a devastating effect on the lives of victims. It can happen to anyone, men and women, and in many cases may follow seemingly trivial encounters. Stalkers not only target their intended victims, but very often extend this to contacting those surrounding them, undermining their relationships with friends, neighbours, work colleagues and family, leaving the victims to no safe place. Basically what she's, under, what she's uh, explained there, she's explained slander, she's explained smear campaigns, she's explained um, psychological um, terrorism which is what it is. Uh, stalking also costs lives as threatening messages risk escalating into actual violence. At present, those who are victims of stalking have to take action themselves. It is essential that the police look at the wider pattern of behaviour, identify stalking and, and take it seriously. My stalking protection bill would make that easier. It would take the onus off of victims and allow the police to step in at an earlier stage before the stalking behaviour becomes deeply ingrained. The police could apply for a stalking protection order in a magistrate's court on the civil standard of proof. There you go, I'm not, I'm not making this shit up, this is all there. Um, they got they got some kind of campaign that they're now running. Um, as uh, most of the target survivors that originally were the people that, um, that are my basic followers, um, we have all contacted these people. We've contacted the National Stalking Helpline, who don't actually identify group stalking or covert stalking or organised stalking, which are all other terms for this domestic terrorism campaign that is running rampant and destroying lives here in the UK and all over the world. So there's one little snippet for you. And let's look at the pedo problem. Front page again, here we've got our new Home Secretary. At least 80,000 pedos now post pose a threat to children online, say cops. There has also been a sevenfold rise in abusive images referred to, to crime agencies in the past five years. Home Secretary Sajid Javid today announced his plans to shut down web giants who refused to act saying I'm sickened by the sheer number of these vile abusers. I think we're all pretty much aware, well, if, if you've got an ounce of intelligence you should be aware of the level um, of filth, the level of paedophilic filth that is going on and has been rampant in the underbellies of this society from top to bottom and uh, I'll get to that in a minute, um, that is going on and it's being allowed to go on. So we've got coppers that are failing millions of people that are reporting um, stalkers. We have got governments that are knowing of the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of sick, depraved paedophiles that are living in your communities and you're probably not even aware of what these sick individuals are doing. 
Um, but while I'm on the um, while I'm on the front page, so then again getting let down by the establishment, um, and the reasons why they were getting let, let down by the establishment, not, not me, but the people, the um, the victims of this uh, disgusting pastime, um, is because they're being fouled by the establishment, and the reason that they're being fouled by the establishment is because that's mm, as you'll see in a moment where a majority of this sickness um, it is and has and indeed carries on taking place so but on the um and this is just a little as i said previously in this video i'm um, these little snippets it's just to give you unawakened people out there you you um people that seem to think that you can go around bad mouthing and discrediting people like brian harvey that are trying to bring awareness to all this sort of stuff with the evidence that he's got try and take on board some of this information and hopefully it might awaken you to some degree to actually realize the mistake that you're making and the actions and your actions are one uncalled for and two maybe you should be focusing your energies on actually helping expose the paedophile problem the covert uh, domestic terrorism problem that is running rampant in this country some people call it gang stalking some people call it targeting um, it's the sickness and it needs to stop and it's being used to shut people up it's being used to expel um, any information any credible information that comes uh, out or leaks out pretty similar to the information that Brian Arby's um, putting out but um, I'm hoping this sort of information you know what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to educate you people a little bit not your normal people not my normal um, subscribers all of you unawakened fools out there that have now taken it on yourself to make all of these little trolling videos and you know all of these it's, 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 it makes no sense you, know, you must be in agreement and you must be um, the sort of person that doesn't mind children getting messed around with doesn't mind millions of people um, million, millions of people's lives being destroyed not only by individual stalkers but by this domestic terrorism program that seems to be running rampant um, around this country of ours. Let's stick with this country for now. Um, but on the same page, or the, or the second page of that paper, we've got another couple of another couple of uh, articles that I'm, I'm going to read out, just to give you another little bit of um, awakening, maybe a little push in the uh, in the right direction, so you can get an understanding of the filth that is being covered over, the filth that is being allowed to be swept under in my opinion a very very large dusty old carpet um, namely up in Westminster so we've got two million in parley pay and perks let me just read you that one MPs and peers pay and perks hit 200 million last year 200 million pound from taxpayers money these vultures are sucking out of the public purse and out of our pockets basically um, MPs trails with 182 million in salaries and expenses and their peers 18 million total running costs were 551 million pounds do you understand that? do you understand them figures? do you understand why your communities are going the way they're going? do you understand why your um, your local estates are becoming battlegrounds for people that are trying to earn a living in any which way they can. They're making sense. They're sinking. Other data shows MPs can lose six figure sums by standing for the Commons. Um, Tories winning marginal seats lose most, an average of £121,467 in travel expenses and reducing their daily workload. <coughs> and then just on the um, just before I move on to the next topic you've got a tiny little advert here so you've got greed, filth disgusting anim animalistic paedophilic people that are sucking the system dry and messing around with children and then we've got a tiny little advert here that says fees top up this is all from the sun from yesterday parents have been Parents have seen nursery fee, uh, fees rise 52%, three times faster than their wages over the past decade, a TUC study says. Is that sinking in? Is that not hard hitting enough for you? 
we have got we are being run by a bunch of paedophilic money hungry van vampires that are um that need to be stopped and this problem needs to be addressed in my opinion um we somebody needs to start forming a new some form of political party to actually stand up to these fools to actually work um in unison with the british public for the british public and are concerned about the british public and not just selfish greedy egotistical paedophilic money grabbing money grabbing vampires so there's another little bit of uh, of information that i'm hoping will sink in if not let's let's go move on to the next uh, the next article that i found police chief confirms former uk prime minister raped dozens of children and the government covered it up this is an article that i found on a website called truthreporter.com and the truthreporter.com got this um, got this article from the daily mail the daily mail from sunday this 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 last sunday in what will likely turn into the largest paedophile bombshell in recent history, Sir Edward Heath, the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, has reportedly been accused by the police chief as being a paedophile. His vile crimes against children were allegedly, allegedly covered up by the establishment. Really? Would they really do that? <laughs> More than 30 people have now come forward with claims of sexual abuse by the former leader of the Conservative Party and Prime Minister. Police investigators told the Daily Mail that the victims all had strikingly similar accounts of the sexual abuse and none of the individuals were known to each other. On Sunday, the Daily Mail revealed that the police chief investigating the Heath case said the allegations against him are 120% genuine. The original investigation began last year as Heath's alleged victims began coming forward, disgraced DJ Jimmy Savile. Mm, connections to uh, Westminster, connections to the royal family, and also a serial rapist, baby rapist. Um, and there's some really, really sick and, sick and twisted stories about that, Mr. Savile, out there, but let's not go down that road too long, otherwise I'll be here all day. Uh, disgraced DJ Jimmy Savile's nephew alleges his friend was sexually abused by former Prime Minister at parties in the 1970s. Guy Marston, whose uncle abused more than 500 victims between the ages of 5 and 75, alleges his friend was abused by Heath at, um, at age 14. Now it appears more and more victims are coming forward with strikingly similar accounts. Wiltshire Chief Constable Michael Bell regards the allegations as totally convincing and plans to publish a report in June according to the Daily Mail. Systemic paedophilic child abuse sect rings in, West, in Westminster. Not enough. Want some more? Let's have another going. Let's see what I've got next, shall we? <sighs> Dear. Pope Francis recommends prayer, penance, and fasting for the sexual abuse within the Catholic Church. So not only if we've got people in power, we've got people in Westminster, rulers of the country, people that are supposed to be there for our um, for our well-being and for um, and for the well-being of the uh, the populace of the country. Um, not only have we got those people that are serial paedophiles, we're also now got an epidemic of uh, of information that's been coming out about the Catholic Church and the the systemic child abuse um, that has been going on within the church within the Catholic Catholic Church for absolute decades and decades, and I'm I'm assuming centuries. So we've got popes now that are um, that are actually saying that he recommends prayer, penance, and fasting for all of the many hundreds of Catholic priests that have now been caught molesting and sexually abusing children in their what are they called in their areas, their, whatever they're called. Still not enough for you? Let's have another little crack here, then. If you really think that the British government are uh, if the, if the British government are really there to uh, to help you guys and um, <laughs> oh, what's this one? Eighty one thousand people died in just three years because of benefit cuts and sanctions. Yeah. You'll find this um, information or this article um, on end propaganda at dot wordpress.com um 
I'm not going to go into it too much, but you've got reports. These are government stats. If you look into that, um, if you look into that article, these are government stats where they are now actually knowing that due to the level of austerity and the level of cutbacks, so that the paedophiles can claim more money and have more luxurious lives and continue to abuse not only the children but also abuse the members of the British public who whom they represent. Um, they also know about how um, the devastating effect of the, histori um, the austerity that's been put into place and seems to be uh, <coughs> seems to be no stop for it um, is actually causing tens of thousands of um, benefit claimants um, from who claim their benefits and their uh, their sickness and all these other benefits that um, that they're entitled to from the government um, and now because they're having their benefits stopped they're out, they're now killing themselves dying of hunger dying of cold you know I've read stories where there's been pensioners that have got no money to to, uh, to feed themselves and clothe themselves and you know we've got all of the poverty that seems to be getting worse and worse when it comes down to um, working families in London and now can't afford to uh, feed their children both working parents still cannot afford or earn enough money to actually feed and keep a roof over the heads of their families so they're having to go to food banks um, something that I found out the other day that you can actually now go to the um, citizens I think it's the citizen advice bureau um, who will who are actually now acting as some kind of um, supply chain for food banks and um, and are handing out hand over fist food parcels to um, poverty stricken families here in the UK. So we've got MPs that are claiming hundreds of millions of pounds. We've got a we've got a Prime Minister that is going around the world chucking away the public money um, to other countries in aid of other countries in the billions. We've got a um, we've got a Ministry of Defence that are spending three billion pounds on a bloody boat um, that will never be used, in my opinion, because the next war definitely will not um, will not uh, involve bullets and bombs. Um, they're just a mere uh, they're just a mere facade. Because there's um, if you have got any uh, any intellectual property or any um, level of intelligence. Um, you will understand that um, there's already there's already a war going on, but um, we'll leave that one for another video. So, um, if that's not enough information to actually convince you unawoken people out there of the filth and depravity that's going on in this disgusting, in my opinion, um, going downhill very very fast country of ours, um, then I don't know what we will wake you up. Maybe that you have got issues. Maybe there are um, maybe there are some genuine um, mental health problems out there, um, because that is the only other reason I can think of all of this online abuse towards somebody as courageous as Brian Arvey, who's looking to tell the truth. And in the meantime, when while he's been trying to sort of convey that truth and trying to uh, get the establishment who are filthy to the core to acknowledge the truth and the evidence that he can produce. He's been attacked by a domestic covert terrorism program called the Targeted Individual Program. And let me just clarify. You will find many, many videos on my channel going back. Um, I've just had my first year's anniversary uh, on YouTube. So yeah, it's my first uh, I'm my first anniversary uh, for being a YouTube um, person. <laughs> You'll find lots of information about the targeting program. You will find a whole bunch of videos explaining and talking about um, surveillance, hacking, slander and character assassination, home invasions, color sensitization, Psychological harassment, death threats, drugging and poisoning events, street theatre, which is what um, 
it's basically a skit that these fools actually play out in public to um, get the attention of the targeted uh, person that they are um, persecuting. <sighs> Fear of going out in public uh, equals isolation. Um, that basically is the uh, is the forefront and the standard protocol for every targeted person in this country, including Brian Harvey. And all of those words that I just used, surveillance, hacking, slander, character assassination, home invasions, color sensitization, psychological harassment, death threats, druggings, street theater for his CCTV system, fear of going out, fear for his life, isolation, slander. They are all the words of Brian Harvey. They are all things that he has mentioned in the videos that he has been trying to put out or he has been putting out to the British public for the past several months. So what Brian is exposing is more than just corruption, it's more than just hacking, it's more than just sex, child sex abuse, it's more than rape and paedophilia. He's also exposing a domestic terror campaign that he has unfortunately been on the, the uh, receiving end of as so many other people maybe a few hundred thousand of those stalking reports that I mentioned on the front page of the Sun at the early part of this video how many of those were actually victims of this domestic terror campaign called gang stalking called the targeted individual program do some research people please so basically what Brian's doing, and let me just reiterate, you know, my, um, I was never a Brian, you know, I'm, you know, I've never bought an E17, uh, E17 record or what have you. So I'm not, uh, I'm not a fan of the, uh, of the, of the music of, uh, of Brian. Um, but what I am is I am a, a fan of people that are strong and courageous enough to stand up and tell the truth. Somebody that's had hit their human and their civil rights removed. Um, by this disgusting underbelly of society known as the establishment. They're allowing this stuff to go on. The same as they're allowing all of this paedophilia stuff to go on. The same as the, the way that the police have been allowing all of these stalking, all of them people, all of them women and men in that paper that have been killed and murdered by their stalkers or by their, their uh, the people that was um, doing whatever they was doing to them were fouled again by the establishment. We've got thousands, tens of thousands of people that are killing themselves and dying through hunger and starvation and from poverty that was brought on about them by the establishment from the austerity. And in the next breath, they will advertise the fact of how many millions, hundreds of millions of pounds that they're taking from the people of this country. So we've got a very, very sick and twisted underbelly or establishment or whatever you want to call it, the people that are running this country, the people that are supposed to be there to help serve and protect the populace of this country, including children, including pensioners, including people like Brian Harvey, um, are failing miserably and are blatantly telling you they're failing. Um, because it's being reported on the front page of national newspapers and you still think that you still think that everything's rosy and you still think that your little um, your little pathetic videos and your little pathetic rants uh, where you're attacking each other and attacking Brian continually through you know, video after video after video after video after video <laughs> what a fucking joke mate you are pathetic, all of you people out there that are taking it on yourselves to do that, um, not only to Brian, but to other people that are truth, real truthers. Um, Red Pill Fields coming under attack, Eddie's come under attack, all by these same pathetic, very, very low IQ people um, that have taken it on themselves to now um, start turning on each other and start belittling and start in bad mouthing and cursing and swearing and ranting and raving against each other.
Brian is trying to tell the truth. He's trying to alert you people out there to not only what his experience is and what he has encountered since he was a teenager, I'm assuming. Um, he's also trying to make you aware of a targeting program that has gone on hidden in the shadows, in the gutters of society. Um, that is killing people and destroying many many people's lives right here in the UK probably in your own neighborhoods but because you're too ego driven because most of you don't have any idea or I want to say most of you because most of you that are watching this video um, will understand what I'm saying and you believe what I'm saying because you have been awoken to the darkness the evil that um, indeed is is happening right now this second as I'm sitting here talking to this uh, to, into this video. So we've got um, so we've got problems, people. There's some massive, massive problems here in the UK at the moment. And um, the more people that start standing up, the more people that start helping support people like Brian Harvey. Um, I'll get just, just you know get back to the um, the reason why I'm carrying on with the Brian Harvey uh, Brian Harvey story and the reason what my my support and um, I'm assuming people that I represent within the target community will also continue supporting Brian because they have lived through the same domestic terrorism program that Brian is talking about through his videos that has been used on Brian to try and rid the establishment of Brian Harvey um, to prevent him from coming forward and exposing sick and twisted upper echelon elitist as they call them type people within this country um, you've got uh, media moguls like um, what's the fella's name? Murdoch and with that level of power with that level of money is, is it any um, is it any surprise to you the reasons why they want to shut Brian Harvey's mouth up so so much and to ridicule him and to slander him and to do all of these other things that have happened to him that I can back up and say that this stuff does happen because one I've lived for it myself not to not to the level of having national newspapers ridiculing me personally but because of Brian standing it within the uh, within the Within Britain, with his background as the uh, the ex singer of a boy band, etc., 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 and with the phone hacking stuff and all of the other dirt and filth that he's looking to try and expose to the um, to the British people, there's no wonder at it that you've got um, he is getting the level of harassment um, and the level of persecution and victimisation that he has received, and indeed looks like he's still receiving um, as you'll know he's back in court on Friday so um, best of luck on Friday uh, Brian I hope it all goes well and um, I hope people out there continue to support you to the degree that um, that you want support basically the, um, what we're doing um, by by talking about Brian Ivy and what he's trying to expose um, we're acting as his media because he is not everything that he's putting out is not going to be in the national media because it's the national media that he is looking to expose there was not one article that I found um, anywhere from the court hearing the other week from Highbury um, so it's pretty uh, it's pretty apparent that they've gone completely dark um, on his story and uh, I'm not willing to uh, put the truth out there to alert you people out there there in the, in public land of um, what is happening to him and why it's happened to him and why for telling the truth he has been victimized and targeted by the deep state it's the only place this, this can be coming from there's no other place this can be coming from anybody that doesn't believe that there's some kind of sick and twisted targeting program that's um, running rampant not only in the UK but around the world get your pencils and please jot down a website called targetedjustice.com 
on there you will find many many testimonies many many affidavits from ex leaders of the FBI you will, you will look up people like William Beeney ex um, uh, former intelligence uh, specialist from the FBI Kirk Wilby also from the FBI Ted Gunderson who was actually the FBI director Karen Stewart another brave lady who's also become targeted and involved in this domestic terrorism campaign it was actually domestic to the country but this is an, an international um, terror campaign that's being waged against innocent truthful honest members of the public so we've got Karen Stewart there's doctors there's you know there's so much information over in the over in America so many people are coming forward you're easy I mean you, you go online there's loads of it there are certain police forces and departments now that are acknowledging gang stalking or the targeting of individuals as a uh, as a reality and um, I can only applaud that and hope that that um, that spreads far and wide and indeed hopefully will touch the UK at some stage but as the um, as that uh, original article that I spoke about at the beginning uh, of this video about the stalking issue and how the police are failing um, in that article it actually claims that the only people that can help people that are being stalked people that are being targeted um, it falls down to us sadly the establishment's not going to help us obviously the police are certainly not going to help us because in my experience and if you are familiar with my story you will know that probably 75% of my target and my victimization has been carried out by members of Kent County Constabulary but I won't go into that um, in too much detail please start doing some research people please and at some stage this will touch your life in some which way or fashion whether it be the paedophile issue whether it be the targeting issue whether it be the austerity issue that's going on and um, at some stage it will touch each and every one of you so um, start doing some research man start looking into the realities of the uh, of the life that you live and the country that you live in before it does get to the point where it touches you in some personal fashion in some personal way so um, yeah that um, that covers some of the stuff that I wanted to talk to today just want to give um, a bit of a <coughs> bit of a report on um, the next meeting um, as all of my targeted um, viewers and subscribers will know TI television we are probably one of the only um, honest platforms here in the UK that are looking to try and expose and assist people that have been affected by the targeting program which I've had about seven emails this morning from new people that have come through to me um, all giving their horrendous stories that, um, that I've heard exactly identical stories from from hundreds of people I've got a UK survivors database that is growing by the day um, and the only assistance that's coming is coming from within the target community so we at TI Television um, we have been uh, we've started holding meetings we've got a helpline a national helpline um, that uh, victims of targeting can call Tesh directly on his uh, on, on a mobile phone I'm going to just give you Tesh's mobile number so any targets out there that are new to um, discovering exactly what it is you're going through and you feel that you need to speak to someone please give Tesh a call on 07843 712 um, he's our uh, uh, TI television is a TI television uh, team member and um, controls the uh, helpline um, but he also is involved in arranging meetings and the reason why I'm talking about this is because we have got another the next um, survivors meeting is actually booked now um, for the 21st of September at the Tabernacle Centre in Clapham Junction so um, I'll give the, uh, um, the I've got the dress at hand um, that's sitting in some other book somewhere so we're in the next video or if anybody needs to find out the address then either call Tesh or contact me directly you can email me on shanegibbs212 at gmail.com um, and um, fingers crossed I'll be able to make it down there I think it's on a weeknight so I'm not quite sure um, about the work uh, 
side of things if I'm working it's going to be a tough one for me to uh, to be able to uh, travel all the way down to London because I'm, I'm based down in Kent um, but um, I'm hoping that more and more people are going to start turning up to these events that we're arranging and um, we can start spreading the love man start sharing um, the support that um, that we have been showing and giving for probably about um, the past year or so now here in the UK so uh, that's that uh, big shout out to Wiz Trooper Amanda at um, Broad Like Me hope you're doing, hope you're doing well um, love your bees man you know, I'd love to have some bees and some chickens but um, maybe one day um, but even that's getting really cool, you know, um, we've done a really nice video for Amanda, um, the birds and the bees, and that full bloody Plan B picked that up and has started, and just on that note, you know, I've not, I've not heard a whisper from Plan B since his, um, since his threat that I, uh, I talked about in one of my, in one of my previous videos, so what, what, what is, what's your, what's your idea, fellow? I mean, why, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit, um, I'm a little bit let down, to be honest with you, I, I was expecting at least a little bit of, uh, of, um, bullshit come back from you but I'm glad that you took on board what I said and um, made the right choice just on that note and uh, let me just finish giving my giving my shout out out uh, Bitcoin biggest respect red pill Phil biggest respect Eddie is okay I trust you're doing well mate um, and I'm hoping that some of you guys that some of you guys and girls that I just mentioned are going to continue your support um, in some way or fashion um, of Brian and what he's trying to do um, because he needs the exposure he needs us to act as his media to actually get this information out to get the truth out which is all he's trying to do so um, Red Pill Phil Eddie is okay um, I'm not quite sure what's going on with, uh, with all that side of things I know there's been a few little bust ups and there's all this bullshit coming from these dickhead trolls that seem to have um, taken on themselves to uh, as some kind of full time job to sit there on YouTube <laughs> making fucking videos on a daily basis but not just one I'm talking about seven eight nine ten videos all chatting the same shit about the same person about the same thing mm. where's the mentality in that I'm sure your uh, I'm sure your time and energy could have been used in a much more productive fashion and that's just merely my opinion so yeah, big shout out to you guys. Wiz, you're doing some amazing work. You know, I really like the um, I like what you're doing and helping um, the people that are uh, suffering with the depression and anxiety and, and all of the panic attack stuff. Um, and I really hope that the uh, Valerian Root helps um, you out and um, some of you other some of you other people trying to get off this uh, poison big pharma junk that um, that you've all been prescribed and been putting down your necks for however long. So uh, yeah, try and find some natural remedies for for that sort of things. You know, nature's another big healer. So um, try and get out in nature as much as you can. I know it's hard if you've got anxiety because the whole point of anxiety is that you don't want to go out. Um, but I mean, you, you've got it inside all of you to actually find the courage to overcome these ailments. And with people like Wiz that are helping you through that, um, you know, I've, I've got some. You know, I'm sure and I'm certain that um, you're going to overcome the uh, obstacles and the barriers that um, you find um, are affecting you in your everyday life so big up with you know, keep up keep doing what you're doing fuck the trolls mate they're all a bunch of idiots and um, on that note um, just another little uh, I've got to put another little warning you know, I'll keep it and see what what some of these what some of these trolls don't actually realize is that not only have I got quite a large network of, of followers here on YouTube but I've also got hundreds possibly thousands of followers that are online on a daily basis throughout that are from the targeting community the targeted community so it's you're not going to get away with putting slanderous disgusting filthy bullshit out about me and on that note I just want to put a little bit of a um, no, I've done it to plan B and let's hope it works with this fellow here as well Paul Taylor aka Hoaxashian um, I was sent a screenshot by one of my um, colleagues within the targeted community. Um, someone was actually based over in Ireland. Big up, you know you are. They sent me a screenshot of some very sick and very, very abusive and very, very slanderous 
crap that you've written online about me through your BitChute account. Now, let me give you a little word of advice. I know your name, Paul. I know your aliases. And I also know your mobile phone number. Now, if you, this is the one and only chance that you're going to get, if you don't cease and desist from this uncalled for account, I don't know you. You know nothing about me. So everything that you're putting out is fictitious. And um, probably the um, result of some kind of traumatic event that you've encountered. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to shut your fucking mouth, man. Because that screenshot that I've got printed and on the Blackberry will be going somewhere that you really don't want it to go. So this is your one opportunity to shut your mouth, take that shit down, and don't cross my path again, mate. Now it's not a physical threat, but I will utilise the, um, the 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 systems that are available for online abuse. Whether I be targeted or not, I am still and I am still a tax-paying member of society that is entitled to utilise the systems that are in place to protect oneself from idiots like you. So I'll reiterate: I've got your mobile number. I know what your name is. I know what your your uh, AKA aliases are on YouTube and um, on BitChute. So the choice is yours ultimately, mate. Just want to end um, in today's video on a um, on a, an amazing quote actually that somebody sent me on one of my previous videos, and um, I must thank you for that quote. And I'm going to read that quote now. Very very short, but very very to the point. Evil contains within it the seeds of its own destruction. What an amazing quote. I know one bit of Latin. Carpe diem. It means seize the day. We as truthers, we as the awakened ones, need to seize the opportunity that not only Brian Harvey is giving us to not only support him in helping him expose all of the horrific stuff that he's encountered, but also this is the opportunity for the targeted community to also start getting their voices heard. So seize the day, people. That just about sums up today's video. A little bit solemn, a little bit, you know, everything that I talk about is truth. What's the point otherwise? Every piece of information I will give, every piece of evidence that I will talk about, I will back up and I can prove. So all of you people out there that have got a, some issue, some issue, some, whatever it is, whether you are just literally bullies, whether you were bullied at school even, and the only way that you can actually get your, um, your feelings of satisfaction is to be some kind of online predator type trolly idiot person um you know, take us you know go and have a look in the mirror man and realize what you're actually doing is detrimental in so many ways so trolls leave brian the fuck alone man and try and get on with your own life if you want a cause then find a cause you know unracial unbiased Start helping the community. Start helping the, the people of the, of the country that you live in. Predominantly here in the UK, because all this stuff's going on over in the UK. And um, you are just causing more and more division. Um, you are causing more and more problems. Um, ultimately, for yourself at the end of the day, because ultimately, every one of us will be judged on that day that comes, the judgment day that comes, that we'll all be answerable for our actions but that's a completely different video and um, maybe one that I'll talk about at, at some stage in the near future so I trust all you people out there are doing as well as you possibly can be I hope that you found some of the information I put out in this video of some interest and, have, and hopefully I've reached some people out there that are probably watching 
my videos um, for different alternative agendas like trolling and being abusive and being slanderous. I'm hoping that you've actually taken on board some of the information that I've put out in this video and you start realising how much of a fucking cretin you've actually been and that maybe you can make the adjustments and change your ways and come over to the right side um, before it's too late. So targets and non-targets for my new subscribers, all of the people that I've been speaking to through email, stay strong, stay defiant. Tomorrow is always a new day. The awakening is happening. Not fast enough, in my opinion, but it is happening. We just need to keep on keeping on. Never ever give in, because that's what they want. You know, we all need to give a good fight, man. When I say fight, I mean intellectually. With knowledge, with care, with love, with compassion. As what normal humans should all be full of brimming to the top with but sadly that's not the case so let's hope we can actually adjust that and let's hope we can get some of these people um, on the right path you know of truth we can only but try so people take care of yourselves um, I'm sure I'll be back at some stage in the next week or so the only reason I've done a video today is I've got a few days off work and um, so I thought, you know what, you know, I've got to sit, you know, I've just seen back watching all of this fucking circus play out with all of these people that are sort of attacking themselves now. Some crazy shit going on here on YouTube at the moment. Got some crazy people. That just about sums up what I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, and there are some various other topics. Um, anybody that, that I wanted to talk about, but I, I should were all of this stuff too is too current and needs to be talked about. And um, the support for Brian needs to remain um, as positive as it can possibly remain. And I'm sure um, he will be successful in what he's looking to try and do with the support and the the compassion and the um, and the care of other people that have got a full understanding of what he's trying to do. So best of luck on Friday, mate. I hope it all goes well for you. And in your in your favour, I can't see why not. And try and get it referred to Crown, man. We need it. So that's about sums up today's video. Um, stay strong, stay defined, and I will catch up with you all again real soon. So until then, take care of yourself, look out for each other, and uh, and I'll see you all again uh, on my next video. Bye for now.